Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 27th June. A day of all-time highs, Nifty, Bank Nifty, Sensex, Midcap Index also nearly touched the all-time high. It just made a new high two days back. How is your portfolio doing? Are you hitting all-time highs as well? Today, the markets continued the rally from yesterday. Reliance again 1% up. But the banks look tired today. HDFC Bank, ICICI, SBI as well. They corrected a bit. That reflected in the Bank Nifty in the later part of the day also. But today the rally was carried forward by IT. TCS picked up steam nearly 2% up. Infi also 2% up. ATEL is not running out of steam at all, another 1.4%. I am somehow not seeing the future gains in ATEL. The ARPU hike is already factored in. The auction yesterday was actually new money spent for no net new revenue. In terms of Lagarde, the biggest one today was LNT, and I bought a lot of LNT yesterday. The stock of the day, however, was Mazgaon Dock. It was included in the Navratna status yesterday. I'm coming up with this calendar now. This is going to reflect the key events. HDFC Bank and ICICI Bank have already announced their result dates, 20th and 27th of July, both being Saturdays. The reaction to these results will be on the respective Mondays, 22nd and 29th. Do let me know in comment section if there are any key events that should be covered here. Today, one good thing was FIs were net buyers, 7,658 crores. DIs, however, net sellers. Now, this may look like a joke on the FIs that on the day when we are hitting all-time highs, FIs are buying. DIs are selling and making money. This is only part of the story. Today was the monthly expiry. This is where FIIs use FNO like crazy. They were probably buying and taking deliveries today corresponding to the FNO trades that have already happened at a different price over the month, maybe even in the previous month. How did the markets do today? Nifty up 0.75%, Bank Nifty down, primarily because HDFC Bank and ICIC Bank came under profit booking. Nifty IT was a rock star today, up 2%. Nifty Energy up 1.27%. Defense led by Mazgaon Dock up a bit. There are two key updates today. Banks continue to post robust credit growth. Now RBI has led the cat out already. Result season is coming up. Banks usually release this quality of assets in their balance sheets in the quarterly results. So we know half of what to expect from the banks. That's already probably gonna be priced in by the time results come in. India will be included in JP Morgan bond index tomorrow onwards. This will lead to about $25 billion worth of money coming into India over the next few months. Also, this will get deployed in bonds, not equity. So you might see the bond yields go down a bit because of excessive inflow. Top stock wise, Lions was not the leader, but still 1% up. TCS has been up for last five days continuously. HDFC, two days of correction now. ATEL has been up for most of the days in last about two weeks time. ICICI corrected a bit today. However, it has been up for last four days. Infosys mixed back despite the FIA inflows. But the gains in Infosys are large in size whenever Infosys is up. Gold up a bit, half percent. Silver up, Bitcoin up. INR got a little stronger today. Brent also was up a bit. Sectoral snapshot, the market breadth was good today. 26 sectors were up. The top contribution came from software and IT followed by construction material which is cement, oil and gas, electrical utilities. Electrical utilities has been more down than up in the last 8-10 days. What was pulling the indices down? Construction and engineering because LNT was down a lot. Hotels, insurance, banking. Most of the top sectors were up. Banking was down but very little. That too on top of good gains over the last 10 days. Aerospace and Defense, HL and BL were down today also. Mazgaon Dock was a rock star, 9% up. Automobile up 0.8%, primarily led by Tata Motors and MM. Banking, HDFC down, ICICI up 0.1%. Kotak Mahindra is now at number 6 by market cap. Construction engineering, despite RVNL being up 1%, the sector was bleeding today. That's primarily because LNT was down a percent. Construction materials, Ultra Tech announced a major acquisition of stake in India Cements. Seems like a hostile takeover kind of situation. As a result, Ultra Tech was up 5%, but the overall sector was up. This seems like a big battle brewing up between the Birla Group and the Adani Group. The power pack was up 1.5% today, led by NTPC 3.3%. Ever since the election results, the food and tobacco pack has been more down than up. Most of these stocks are now very far off from their 52-week highs. While no big cuts were there, but the overall sector is not going anywhere. Investment banking up a bit. Heavy machinery was a rock star sector today, up 1%. Siemens, ABB both were up today. They were both down for last several days, 3% each. Metals and minings recovered a bit today. Hindustan Zinc was up, JSW Steel was up. But the public sector companies, NMDC, sale were still down. 
ऑयल एंड गैस अप पॉइंट एट परसेंट लेड बाय रिलायंस वन परसेंट द कंजम्पन बैक वेंट नो वेयर एच यूएल वॉज अप बिट दिस सेक्टर ऑल्सो हैज बीन वीक एवर सिंस द इलेक्शन रिजल्ट केम आउट मोस्ट स्टॉक्स आर ऑफ देयर फिफ्टी टू वीक हाइज रियल एस्टेट सेलेक्टिव स्टॉक्स वर अप टू डे मैक्रोटेक अप सेवन परसेंट अदरवाइज मोस्ट स्टॉक्स वर डाउन सॉफ्टवेयर एन आई टी नियरली एवरीथिंग वॉज अप एंड अप बिग टेलीकॉम भारतीय अप वन परसेंट वोडाफोन थ्री परसेंट इंडस टॉवर टू एंड हाफ परसेंट निफ्टी फिफ्टी थर्टीन स्टॉक्स डाउन थर्टी सेवन अप इट वॉज अ सी ऑफ ग्रीन टूडे द मैक्सिमम गेन्स केम फ्रॉम टी सी एस फॉलोड बाय रिलायंस अल्ट्रा टेक इन्फोसिस एन टी पी सी एयरटेल वेरी फ्यू स्टॉक्स अटेम्प्टेड टू ड्रैक द निफ्टी डाउन टूडे एल एन टी एच डी एफ सी बैंक बजाज ऑटो श्रीराम फाइनेंस देर वॉज नो स्टॉक विद लो वॉल्यूम्स टूडे एंड देर सिग्निफिकेंट स्टॉक्स विच वर वेरी हाई इन वॉल्यूम मोर देन वन ट्वेंटी परसेंट रिलायंस वॉल्यूम वर टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट टी सी एस टू हंड्रेड इलेवन परसेंट निफ्टी नेक्स्ट निफ्टी डिट नॉट डू सो वेल ट्वेंटी थ्री डाउन ट्वेंटी सेवन अप वॉट वॉज अप मोस्ट प्रॉक्टर एंड गैम्बल सीमेंस मुथूट फाइनेंस ए बी बी एस आर एफ पी एन बी वॉज डाउन मोस्ट फोर परसेंट फॉलोड बाय गोदरेज हेवल्स टी वी एस मोटर्स श्रीराम फाइनेंस इन नेक्स्ट फिफ्टी ऑल्सो वेरी फ्यू स्टॉक्स ओनली टू एक्चुअली हैड लो वॉल्यूम्स और नॉट एज मेनी स्टॉक्स हैड हाई वॉल्यूम्स मोस्ट स्टॉक्स हैड नॉर्मल वॉल्यूम्स सो द इंटरेस्ट वॉज इन निफ्टी नॉट नेक्स्ट फिफ्टी टूडे दिस इज काइंड ऑफ ऑब्वियस बिकॉज इट वॉज निफ्टी एक्सपायरी नॉट नेक्स्ट फिफ्टी एक्सपायरी आई टी सेक्टर दिस इज द ग्राफ फॉर येस्टरडे टूडे एवरीथिंग वॉज अ सी ऑफ ग्रीन दैट टू विद लार्ज गेन्स Energy sector was led by Reliance yesterday. Today the leader was NTPC in terms of percentages, but Reliance is the heavyweight. Nearly the entire sector was up today also. Banks, this is the graph of yesterday. Most banks were up. This is the graph for today. Kotak Mahindra was up. Everything else was consolidating. The entire lot of PSU banks was down today. That too major cuts. Comparative graphs of Nifty and Bank Nifty. Nifty went up continuously in the first half. nearly a 150 point rally but it came down even faster nearly by the same amount in lesser time by about 1045 nifty had given up most of the gains but then came another rally at 12 o'clock there was a real sharp spike note that these blocks are of roughly 0.2% size nifty was moving 0.2% in 5 minutes this is the 5 minute candle after this spike there was a bit of consolidation and then the same levels were reclaimed After it seemed that Nifty was done for the day, expiry will be smooth. Then came the huge spike. This time, twenty-four thousand was decisively broken. This was a nearly two hundred point rally in Nifty. Towards the end, there was a minor profit booking, which is okay. Bank Nifty was even more severe. Went up like a rocket. Came down at the same levels. This was less than two hours journey. After that, it went up again. This was about a four fifty point rally. This was. 350 points approximately came down nearly 300 points then went up came down went up came down for investors who are not monitoring the market this does not mean anything because at the end of the day we went nowhere for bank nifty for nifty it was in any case straight up but for traders who are trying to be long it was a scary day because they would not know where to exit which point nifty will retract the falls were obviously severe that was expected this was the case with bank nifty as well as nifty now what happens in these falls typically and i have mentioned that several times is during these falls once you are in loss you are very reluctant to book the losses you cling on you average down but you don't know where nifty is heading and you don't know when nifty would go into negative territory and give up the gains when a correction would kick in this is nifty's 1 minute chart look at the 1 minute candles here look at the sharp up moves in the 1 minute candle nifty went up nearly vertically here nifty came down nearly vertically here in two big chunks again a vertical rise nearly vertical fall vertical rise continuous fall see this rise at which candle do you decide to book profits if you are long if you book profit suddenly nifty is going up again now at the end of the day you can say you should have just stayed long but it is not as easy during that day because you don't know when reversals will come so i had a quiet day today i mentioned in the videos couple of days back that i'll reduce my action on fno for some time in nifty there was a profit of 5600 there was one trade which went wrong that was a short obviously it was a bad day to short this was also a short that too also backfired i continue to manage my reliance short positions it is right now 2700 in loss this loss will increase if reliance stays up so tomorrow i'll probably take a call whether i'll take this position over the weekend and hold it till monday because i'll be benefiting from the decay there so tomorrow or monday i will probably close this trade if reliance does not fall note that these two positions have to reverse actually this 16000 loss has to turn into a profit and 13000 profit has to turn into a loss this was the original intent of the trade charts wise reliance up maintained the up structure 
TCS up continuously. HDFC Bank corrected, went up a little, then consolidated, but overall downward bias only. ICICI Bank also came down over the day. ATL consolidated for most of the day and then shot up. SBI mixed bag up down, up down, up down. Infosys nearly continuous up. HUL typically goes up and towards the end of the day comes down. ITC picked up in the end of the day, but not too much of a gain. VIX shot up during the day, then came down. PNB had a horrible day, continuous down, nearly 5% down for the day. Defense charts, HAL came down during the day, then shot up suddenly, then came down and then went up. So a lot of volatility. BL sharply came down by opening at the highest point of the day, then corrected a bit on the upward side. Musgaon Dock was silent for most of the day, then suddenly shot up, corrected a bit. GRSE went up, came down, consolidated. PDL gave one sharp spike, but then immediately came back. Data pattern. Like I mentioned yesterday, the, it opens up, then comes down. Metals, Hindustan Zinc picked up towards the end. JSW Steel went up throughout the day. Tata Steel corrected, then went up. Vedanta corrected, then went up. Indalco consolidated, then went up. Jindal Steel down, up. So most of the stocks actually went up towards the later part of the day in the last half an hour, 45 minutes. Same with NMDC, sale. My trades for the day, today I bought data patterns for the pattern that I spoke about. I'll probably sell it off by 10 or 11 a.m. tomorrow just to test my theory. Today, I got rid of ABB, JM Financials and LTTEC. All three of them were blocking money and not going anywhere. There was literally a no profit, no loss on all three trades. I did not mention it yesterday and I realized today that I also hold BDL, Bharat Dynamics. That's again a defense stock. Musgaon Dock, I had bought a ship full of it yesterday. It went up 8%. I tried to book profits, but then the levels went down. Overall markets are up, they are making all time highs, but they are looking crazy to me. The valuation part is looking stressed to me, it is too high. The net new FII money will now go into bonds. That does not mean there will be no inflow in equity. The result season will be mixed bag, I have mentioned that earlier also. For example, I analyzed and compared two stocks yesterday. One was GRSC in the defense pack and Musgaon Dock. I found GRSC to be very, very highly valued compared to Musgaon Dock. So let's continue to play the cat and mouse game. Market right now are in the uptrend. So make money in the uptrend. If you are not prepared for a fall, then you might lose a lot of money. At least you might be in negative zone for some time. That could be one day. That could be one week. That could be one month. Also be prepared to average down a bit. So be on cash for some time. This may not be the best time to be fully invested. Though markets are rocking right now. Thanks for watching. It's also time for the India-England semi-final. Have a great remaining day. Have a great match. I'll see you tomorrow.